All right, so Google has released their open source LLM, Gemma 3. And so I'm gonna show you today, talk a little bit about this, give you some of the details, and then do a demo for you where I'm running this on my DIY AI PC that I've built for less than $500. So we can do something productive and real with a great LLM that's now released by Google for open source for less than $500. Let's dive into this today. <laughs> Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer Thomason here at Startup Hack. We love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps, as well as to build custom software solutions for companies. I have a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development. So I've mastered transforming tech teams and product. But Google has released Gemma 3 and they are now working uh, and making it so that you can download uh, this and get started on it. And let's kind of talk about the stuff that they're uh, talking through in their main talking points on uh, on this, in this article. So introducing Gemma 3, and again, this is Google's blog, right? So you can run it on a single GPU or a TPU, right? So right off the bat, they're saying that they are doing this so that they have a 1 billion, 4 billion, 12 billion, and 27 billion. So the 27 billion easily runs on some of the 24 gig graphics cards. I'm gonna demonstrate for you today the 12 billion, which runs on quite a few graphics cards. 4 billion will run on you know some of your lower end graphics card and a 1 billion will run on just on GPU, right? So they said it's built with the world's single best accelerator model, right? And so I know that as soon as they did this, you know, they said Gemma 3 delivers state of the art performing Llama, DeepSeek and O3, right? Uh, tons of languages, uh, create AI with advanced text and visual reasoning capabilities. So this is a really big one. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about this one. Um, handle complex tasks with extended context windows. So now Gemma 3 offers 128, uh, 120,000 context windows. So this is going to allow you to start programming against it and do some pretty awesome stuff. You also can create AI driven workflows using function calling, which is really big, right? Gemma 3 supports function calling and structured output to help you automate tasks and build agentic experiences. So as you can see, there's definitely a huge shift in the market away from, hey, we can solve everything to, hey, we can help you build some agents, which is really big. High performance delivers faster with quantized models, right? So I'm not as worried about that part here, but this is the ranking with the 27 billion models, which you can see stands up pretty good, uh, even against, you know, 27 billion stands up really good against the R1, which is the 671. So pretty good, like on the chat bot, a read and a score here. Now, they say it's built for safety with image applications, ready to integrate with tools you use, right? So this is really cool because you can develop it against a lot of different uh, things. So I'm gonna demonstrate for you how to use it with Olama, but they're right off the bat released uh, a lot of these, right? So it's optimized for NVIDIA GPUs. So if you're, um, you know, so that's also really a big deal too, right? Because um, Gemma 3 is, you know, and, and run with the, the Blackwell chips, right? So Gemma 3 is now featured on the NVIDIA API catalog. Um, so lots of good stuff here. Um, this is, you know, a, a great, uh, opportunity for us to be able to dive in and to be able to start to dig on some of this. So unlike some of the other open source models that come with restrictive licensing, Gemma 3 has been released under genuinely permissive terms that allows for easy commercial use, modification and redistribution. So the key innovation isn't just the model's performance, but it's optimization for consumer grade hardware, uh, which drastically, dramatically reduces the barrier of entry, right? So that's what I'm really excited to see about this is to see people trying to lower that barrier of entry. So, you know, not all that long ago it was just, you had to be, you know, hundred thousand dollars a month to be able to get into this game. This is changing. That's what I'm really excited about. So it's optimized to run for these consumer grade hardware. And I've personally tested and I'm gonna do some demos for you here at the end of the video with some of these. So um, the 7 billion model handles complex prompts with context lengths up to 8,000 tokens with the 27 billion model supports 32,000 tokens, which is enough for substantial document and conversations, right? So in my testing, Gemma 3 particularly shines at code generation tasks, producing clean and efficient solutions as far as you can. Again, I'm a huge believer that AI is a, and LLMs are a great tool for developers, but it's not going to replace a developer. It's a tool. It's another tool in your toolbox. So what's most impressive from a developer's perspective, the model's ability to generate structured data like JSON and XML with high reliability. And this is a critical feature for being able to build production at level apps. Now, if you want to get started, you can easily download Olama, which is I'm going to show you about, right? And I'm going to show you these and demo these on my $500 AI PC, right? So 
you know, this is just, I go out and grab pretty much any uh, machine off of, uh, you know, Facebook Marketplace or eBay for two or $300, put a two, another two to $300 graphics card into it. Usually you want to look for something with at least 16 gigs of RAM or, or sorry, 12 gigs of RAM. If you can get the ones that are up to 24 gigs of RAM, that's great. But the, uh, the 12 gigs of, uh, of RAM can get you to uh, some of these models. And I'll show you some of this here. So this, one of the great things, and I'm going to show you this one in another video to show you how to use the structured data. Uh, so definitely want to make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because we love to build custom software solutions for companies. So if your company is struggling, make sure you reach out to us at startuppack.com slash Spencer. But I'm going to, and make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because I bring you a lot of really good uh, stuff for free. And so here I'm going to bring you a lot of uh, examples. I have another next video is going to be about how, about how to make and use structured data. But this is where Gemma 3 really shines is with using some of the structured data. So um, you, you can see this is a great way for building real world applications that can solve a specific use case or solve a specific problem. Will it boil the ocean and replace all of your apps? Absolutely not. But if you have a good agent that you need to run to drive to it, this is where Gemma 3 is going to really shine. So let's go ahead and switch over here and I'm going to show you some of the things that I have running here um, on uh, on screen here. So I'm actually going to uh, get my get my head off of off the camera really quick um, and try to get to um, just so I can show you these. So for starters here, we have uh, what I'm running here is Olama uh, 3, or sorry, we're running Olama, running Gemma 3, and I'm running the 12 billion model here, right? I always make sure to add this verbose so we can see uh, what our scale, uh, scale looks like. You can see on this machine, I have a lot of different ones. The one that we're running right here is this Gemma 3. So you can see the size of it is 8 gigs. Um, when we run our Olama PS, this shows that right now I'm running 100% from uh, the GPU, right? So I have a 12 gig gra graphics card in here, so it can comfortably handle this Gemma 3 at this. So that's why I chose this. So if you want to go into uh, building, um, so if you want to use a bigger graphics card and you want to be able to run some of the larger models, let's take a look here and I'll drag this over here. So on Gemma 3 here, we have the 1 billion uh, th 4 billion and 12 billion. So as you look at the size the, of these and break them down, you can check out the, for the 27 billion, you're going to really need at least a 24 gig graphics card, right? Six, there are a few 16 gig graphics cards out there, but the 24 gig graphics card is what's really going to need. So 40, 60, something in that range, probably going to run you 700 to a thousand dollars, right? And so still a little bit more than our $500 DIY AI PC. So that's why I'm sticking here to this 12 because you can pretty consistently, uh, you know, fit eight gigs uh, onto these. And so that's why I've chosen this one here for running this. So now you can see that we're up and running. If I say, why is the sky blue? And you can see it started up pretty quick. The response comes back really fast. Um, and we can, you know, still see that we're running well within our 100% GPU. We don't want this to be split across to the CPU because then you're gonna have to get to a pretty modern machine. This is a pretty old machine. This machine's about a decade old that this was running on, um, and the graphics card. So you can see that, uh, and we'll see when it gets here to the bottom. You know, I probably should have told it to give me a short expl explanation, but we can see that the eval rate is, you know, 31 sec uh, 31 tokens per second, which is pretty fast, right? Um, and so, you know, we can see that it's, it's done a pretty good amount of job on, on all these uh, 717 tokens is what it took to evaluate that. And you can see that evaluation or evaluation rate of 31 tokens per second. So pretty quick. Now, as we get into more structured data um, and, and doing more with the structured data and the programming, you're going to see more and more of this. And you also want to be able to queue up multiple of these responses. Um, but for right now, like this is a pretty good start to get us started, to be able to, um, to dive in and get started on getting some of that coding. And so definitely interested to dive in a little, do a little bit more with uh, Gemma 3. So uh, again, to restate, Google released the Gemma 3 and it's a significant milestone for, and it's really good to help democratize AI because they're releasing it on open source, right? And so this is a lot of the stuff that they're working on with their Gemini, which is their commercial product. Gemma 3 is the open source one. Um, and so with current trajectories, like we're really seeing a lot more and more open source models. And I really like this because I think it's going to bring that down to the level of development 
developers to make it so the developers can see it. So I can, so for a thousand dollars, if I wanted to jump to a thousand dollars, I've been able to kind of find some of the ones that are 24 gig cards, um, running with, or I can even uh, get an older machine and get two cards into it. And I'm going to explain a little bit more of that as we get into some of our structured models here. So really this is really interesting because i think we're starting to see these big companies starting to push for getting developers in to start to use these llms and that's when this gets exciting right when the bar for entry is so high that it requires tens of thousands of dollars a month to run you're not going to get a lot of small to medium businesses into those ranges especially for developing against it but when you can get it down to the 500 to a thousand dollar range to get started and dig in this is when things will get interesting and right now, the scores between a one billion and a four billion model are just far enough different between the eight and uh, and larger models that you're getting, that it's really worth spending that extra than just running it against your your own CPU. Now, what do you guys think? I'm interested to hear your guys' discussion. Do you are you guys excited about this? Have you guys started to use it? If so, what have you started to do with it? Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment because I answer all of these personally. Here at Startup Pack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps as well as to build custom some software solutions for companies. So reach out to us at startuppack.com slash Spencer and we can help your company get up and going. And here's some great information about our coding boot camps. Want to become a software developer but don't want to spend four years in college and rack up massive student loan debts? Think you need technical expertise to get started? Welcome to Startup Pack, a better way to start your software career without student loans and years without income. One-on-one -on -one tutoring is included so you never get stuck and have guidance through the whole process. No technical experience is necessary. Learn at your own pace and in your own space. Startup Pack has worked with local state agencies in your area to make it so that qualifying students can get the program costs covered entirely and students can start earning while they learn. Startup Hack's .NET Coding Bootcamp was a game changer for my career. As someone with no prior programming experience, I was initially intimidated by the idea of learning to code, but the instructors at Startup Pack broke down complex concepts into easy to understand lessons and provided hands-on projects that really cemented my understanding. The curriculum was comprehensive and up-to-date and got me ready for my first job. What really set Startup Pack apart was to focus on practical, real-world skills. Thanks to Startup Pack, I landed my dream job as a .NET developer within weeks of graduating. I went from knowing nothing about code to building professional grade web applications in just a few intense months. If you're looking to break into .NET development or level up your coding skills, I cannot recommend Startup Pack enough. Complete our three month coding boot camp, gain hands on experience, and land a paid internship. With two years of experience, on average, our graduates are making over $80,000 per year. The three month program includes technologies from Microsoft, Google, and Facebook. No debt, just a quick path to earning. Check out startuppack.com to code your future and start today.